AI agents are transforming how we work, automating tasks, analyzing data, and can even act as a reliable personal assistant. My prediction is that 2025 is going to be the year of agentic AI agents will begin really popping up everywhere. And Agno is one of the agent frameworks that is getting tons of attention and popularity with more than 19,000 stars on GitHub. Agno is a lightweight framework designed for building powerful multimodal AI agents. The framework is built on three key principles, simplicity, speed, and flexibility. There are no complicated graphs or chains, just pure Python, making development clean and straightforward. And when it comes to performance, Agno claims agents run up to 5,000 times faster than LangGraph, all while keeping memory usage low. Not sure how true it is. I will have to do some testing to validate the claim. One of Agno's biggest strengths is that it's model agnostic. You can use any model, any provider, and any modality. It has native support for text, image, audio, and video, so it's ready for whatever you need. It also includes built-in memory management, structured outputs for predictable responses, and real-time monitoring. If you're working with multiple agents, you can manage their states and track performance without extra setup. To get started, launch your terminal and run the command pip install agno. For this tutorial, I will share two examples. For example one, we will build a web search agent to help you search information from the web using DuckDuckGo. For the second example, I will cover how to use Agno's Agent Playground, which is Agno's own agent UI to interact with your agent. Depending on the tools and model providers you are using, you will have to install those third-party libraries separately. For demonstration purposes, I will be using OpenAI's GPT-40 mini model. On your terminal, install the rest of the packages. Agno comes with its own tool libraries. Some of the key ones are DuckDB, GitHub, Google Search, Slack, SQL, and YouTube. You can also create your own tool set, which I will cover in a separate video. To create an agent using Agno, create a Python file. Let's call it demo.py. To start out, import the required Python packages to import the model, agent, and tool classes. To create an agent, use the agent class and define the parameters. The parameters I am showing here are just some of the commonly used parameters. By setting debug mode and show tool call to true, we can easily debug any misstep occurred during the agent run, which you will see in a second. If we hover our mouse to the agent class, we will see that it has a whole bunch of parameters available. That means we have complete control over how we want to manage agent's behavior. To send a request, call the run method. If we look at the output, by setting debug mode to true, it prints the logs of the agent run to ensure everything is running smoothly. You can also use the print response method to display the output directly, which is a convenient way to quickly test and display an agent's response in the terminal. However, the print response method will only print the output and returns nothing from the API call. Just keep that in mind. Surprisingly, Agno multimodal feature is extremely easy to use. To work with media files, for example photos, from Agno Media, import the image class. In the run method, simply insert the image source as an image object in the images parameter. Pretty straightforward. Now let's talk about Agno Playground. 
Egno Playground is, is an agent UI provided by Egno for interacting with your agents, allowing you to chat and test them in a user-friendly interface. When you are connecting your agents on Agno's Playground, all the agent data is stored locally. We are just feeding the data to the UI. Think of it as Agno's just a UI hosting provider. A few benefits with this approach. For one, it saves us a lot of hassle not needing to maintain the UI, which we can focus solely on the agents and tools development. Second, we still hold the gatekeep of what data will be used. To use Agnos Playground, on your terminal, install Fast API Standard. From Agno Playground, import Playground and serve Playground app. To launch the UI, create a Playground instance with the agents to be included and launch the app with serve Playground app. Click the Playground link to open the page. If we look at the top right corner, we can connect to several endpoints, basically different sessions. Each section can be used for different purposes with different agents. Agent dropdown shows the available agents. Underneath is the model assigned to the agent. And you would use the playground similar to ChatGPT, except everything is customized to your needs. And that's all for this tutorial. There are other features and use cases I want to cover, but for now, this is everything for this video. Just enough stuff to get you started with Agno. If you're a Patreon member, you can download the source code from the link in the description below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Happy coding. See you in the next one.